This is Kibbutz Sasa, a cooperative socialist community, one of 300 in Israel. But most have moved far from their original ideology and have been privatised. Sasa has made a different choice. All members who do paid work hand their wages over to the kibbutz. We expect you to uh, bring as much as you can. You get as much as you need, but in a different, in a renewed kibbutz, this is one of the reasons that they change the way of life because usually one wants to feel that if he gives more, he gets more. Well, we assume that one day we will be in the middle. While the kibbutz members await a possible change, they have almost no bills to pay and participate in the life of the community. Raoul Cohen was the previous general manager here. Tonight, although he's officially retired, he's the one serving dinner. For us, it's perfectly normal. That's how it is. Here, you see, everyone's come. They were at home, and now I serve them. Next week, it will be someone else. This is one of the few kibbutzim that still function in the old style, including a common dining room. Raoul Cohen wants to believe that the pendulum could swing back. We see that even the kibbutzim who change their way of life, they try to return to the dining room, to celebrate the holidays together. But it does take time. Sasa exists almost in its own bubble except that it's just a few hundred metres to the Lebanese border, and the threat of conflict still looms large. During the war here in 2006, the kibbutz had to be evacuated. Whoever lives in these areas have in mind that it will probably happen one day or another. You put it in the back of your head, because otherwise you won't live here. Even if the socialist kibbutz is no longer in vogue, Sasa remains populated by idealists, committed to this community and this lifestyle.